Hello. Um, so it's been a very, very, very long time since I have recorded a video. Um, I think it's been over a year, actually, and there's quite a few reasons for that, um, which I won't even bother getting into. But I did want to come on for a few minutes and try to give a brief overview of what's happened in the past year. Um, and I don't know how brief it'll be, but I'm going to leave out a lot because otherwise this might end up being like an hour long video. Um, but the last time I did an update, I was working at a law firm. Um, I had been there for about a year, actually it was 14 months or something like that. And I was hired into the temp and they never hired me on full time. Um, and things just got kind of crazy there. And it became that my position was not what I had originally started out doing. Um, and they kept adding stuff on and it just became insane. Like, my supervisors were saying, you know, we know there's no way you're going to get through all this in a day, but here it all is anyway. And we want it done by the end of the day. Um, so I mentally at the same time was not doing well at all. Um, I guess it was just, don't even know what it was. Um, it was depression coupled with other things, but I just kind of had, as best I can describe, as just like a mental breakdown. Like I could not take anymore. Um, on my lunch break, I was just walk watching buses drive by and just had the urge to like just step out in the middle of the street. Um, I had one night that I came home and the house was just a mess because obviously my roommate who yes I do still live with um it's kind of a slop so I was putting dishes away and picked up the steak knife and I apparently just started wandering around the house with it um completely lost track of time like I have no idea what I was doing and then just kind of snapped out of it like 20 minutes later like what am I doing with this knife um, so after that we I tucked it over with my therapist and pretty much decided to leave that job um, which was really difficult I knew I couldn't take it anymore um, but at this time I was, she says I was actively suicidal. I don't know if I would go that far because I had thoughts and intentions of it, um, but didn't really have, I don't even know, like the guts, I guess, to actually go through with it. Um, so we didn't know what we were going to do with me um, at this time, but I did leave the job. Um, we were talking about a mental ward, but with me not having insurance and everything else, as long as I stayed the way I was and didn't get any worse, um, we kept me out of it um, but during this time like I was going to doctor's appointments regularly and checking in regularly and um, tried a few different medications um, none of them which really seemed to take um, until eventually I don't know well I'm getting to that um, so I was off of work for a few months, which was really hard, just not having any income and stressing out 
all the time over what I was going to do. Um, I did put in two weeks notice, which was not recommended that I do. It was recommended that I just leave immediately. Um, but working those two weeks kind of gave me a little bit of a nest egg, not much, but it allowed me to pay the bills for a couple months. Um, but then I did start on medication. I was taking it regularly. I don't think it really did much. Um, we tried a few different ones, not one really. Excuse me. Um, did a whole lot for me. Uh, so finally we decided that I could go back part time. Um, I mean, it was really just because I had to, uh, there was no way around it. I had to have some sort of income coming in. So I applied for a few jobs and I was applying for ones I wasn't really interested in, um, but I knew I had the qualifications for. And so I applied to be a bartender at the casino that opened up, I guess, I guess it was about 18 months ago now. Um, fairly new because they just legalized gambling in my state. Um, so I applied for that and shockingly got it. I didn't think I would get it. Uh, and the pay was really well. Um, so I took that. So that's where I currently am. I started there at the end of July. Uh, supposed to be part-time. It's not really. I'm working more full-time hours, but if they keep me on the hours that I'm on, they have to give me benefits after six weeks of them, um, which I'm almost there. Uh, they've offered me full-time a couple times, but the schedule that they want is kind of not one that I would want. <laughs> um, just because it doesn't include Friday nights and Friday and Saturdays are our money makers. Um, like I make on Friday and Saturday nights what I made the whole week at the law firm. Um, so I'd be happy just working those two nights. But anyway, once I started this job is when I got off of the medication um, and I've seemed to do all right without it so far. I'm just kind of on autopilot, I guess. Um, the reasons I went off, like I said, it didn't seem to do anything for me. The one I was on, you had to take it multiple times a day and like fairly evenly spaced apart and with my schedule, I just can't do it. Um, obviously being at a casino, it's open 24 seven and I can be scheduled basically any time except for the three hours that we don't serve alcohol, which is between two 30 and in the morning and five 30 in the morning. Um, most of the time I work 10 hour shifts from like 5 PM to three 30 AM. Um, we're usually out by three though. Thank God. Um, <laughs> But it's kind of difficult for me because I feel even though I do make more money that I've taken a step back, like I don't want to bartend the rest of my life. Um, but for now, you know, while I kind of try to figure out what my next move is going to be, I guess it is what it is. Um, eating disorder wise, I don't even... No. Um, while I was off of work, I kind of bottomed out, I guess, um, in terms of weight. Uh, since I started back, I gained a crap ton of weight and I don't like it. <laughs> um, especially since it's occurred in like a six week time span, uh, which really, really freaks me out. And I'm not handling that very well. Um, just because, like I said, I usually do work 10-hour shifts. And 
I feel like I've tried everything under the sun, um, but basically when I get home, it's just like binge fest. It's insane. I am, for some reason, so starving when I get off of work, um, which I find very, very strange. And I've tried everything I can think of, like even taking stuff with me. And it just, I'm always starving um, when I get home. And that kind of leads to the binge purge thing. And yeah, so I don't, weight wise, I haven't really fluctuated since I did gain a whole lot. The past couple weeks, I've been fairly even. Um, but I still am having trouble being the size I'm at. It kind of freaks me out. Like I haven't weighed this much in like two years. Um, and part of me knows it's necessary, but that doesn't really make it a whole lot easier. Um, so yeah. I guess that's kind of where I am right now. I don't really know what my next moves are, which is scary, but at least for right now, things are fairly normal-ish um, in terms of like how my thinking and mental state are. I really have no idea. Like I go from one extreme to another in 10 minutes. Um, hey, no cat bites in my video. I don't know if you can hear that, but um, my pumpkin cat, if you follow me on Tumblr, um, I don't know. Yeah, actually, I might have made a video since she got sick, but she was really sick for a while. And she has done a lot, a lot better. I don't know what it was. I have no clue. But now she's like the sweetest, most playful cat ever. Um, but I really think that's all I have to say for now. I'm hoping not to be as big of a, a stranger. Um, so I hope everyone else is doing well and hanging in there. I haven't really gotten to go through a whole lot of videos. I went through a couple the other night, but um, I can't wait to update myself on everyone else's. And trying not to be a stranger. And I'm sorry if you do follow me on Tumblr or my crazy erotic post. Um, not erotic. No, that's not the word I want to use. Um, I don't even know what the word was, but not erotic. Um, but sorry for my bipolarism, I guess. Because um, I know I, I tend to post a lot when I'm not in the greatest state. Um, but I apologize, and hopefully that will change. So I will talk to you guys soon.